guys, today is April 5th, 2017. I just finished my 15 minutes of fasted cardio. That is I'm doing this week. 15 minutes, I think it's seven weeks out and two days. I'm gonna be doing 15 minutes of fasted cardio every single day I have a workout. And I'm working out roughly six times a week. So uh, that's a lot of cardio. Um, I'm doing fasted cardio in the morning, 15 minutes. I mean breakfast right away. Today I got myself some eggs, four eggs, just a little bit of butter that I put into the pan itself and a little bit of BCAs. Um, BCAs aren't necessary. I just started doing that for this prep. Uh, that being said, this title is gonna be based on cheating. Now, we're all human. We are gonna have cheat meals. We're all gonna mess up on our diets, but it's what you do after that. And, and even with cheating itself, you gotta do it smartly. So if you wanna have a little bite of chocolate or a little bit of frozen yogurt or whatever it may be, you can just look at how much you ate that day already. Look at your caloric intake, look at how many carbs you've taken in already, or if you didn't take in any carbs, right? Um, but the main thing is your calories. So for instance, your body needs a certain amount of calories to function. So let's say I need maybe 2,500 calories to function. Let's say I have 1,500 calories, so that's pretty much what I'm eating right now, about 1,500 calories. So if I do have a little cheat meal, I do have a little treat, it won't affect me because my body's going to take in all those calories anyways for the entire day and on top of that I'm doing cardio so really I'm still gonna be losing weight and that's what I've been seeing these past couple days I mean I think it was four days ago I had a little bit of frozen yogurt like raspberry frozen yogurt and I had a little bit of a uh, candy apple and I still lost about a pound and a half and I'm still losing weight um, I'm doing it smartly that's the thing I'm not binging I'm not oh you know I'm not like getting all upset because I did a little cheat. It's what you do after because if you constantly cheat, your body's gonna adapt to that and it's gonna put on fat. Now if you do that once and then you go back onto your diet constantly, your body's gonna get used to what your diet is. Um, so it's hard to explain that but I hope you guys understand that. Calorie wise is the main thing. Carbs, you know, carbs are the majority of calories. Um, fats as well. So sugars and all that, all the junk food is bad for you. But if you do smartly, you can incorporate that here and there into your diet, maybe once or twice a week. Um, I don't recommend that, especially when you have prep, but I see results and I'm still seeing results. So, you know, everybody makes mistakes, but just don't constantly make them. So you could have a little bit here and there, but don't overdo it. Don't go over your caloric intake. Um, don't, don't over just eat <laughs> junk food and still go under your calories. Like you can't just eat junk food, go underneath how many calories you need and um, expect results, expect your muscles to be looking good or to be burning as much fat as eating healthy or feel good about yourself. Because when you're eating nutritious, you feel healthier and you feel better, um, obviously a lot more than you would if you eat junk food. So hope that like gives you guys a little perspective as to we all make mistakes and um, you can work around it. You don't have to stop your diet. You can still go and get cut down. And you're still doing good. Don't get all depressed. Just, you know, have a little bit here and there, but be smart about it. All right, so I just finished cardio on this guy. Did 15 minutes of fasted cardio. Now I'm gonna be cooking some food, which I already started. Um, I'm gonna be cooking here some chicken on this guy. Got about four pieces. That little one I'm going to have in the morning with my eggs. These three are going to be three meals for the day. Next thing, we're going to be going in here. We're going to be getting some vegetables. I know it's frozen vegetables, but it's going to make things simpler. Now, we're going to be cutting these up. We're going to put in some water, and thereon, we're going to be steaming these vegetables. So, where is the knife? I'll use this guy. It's going to leave you guys right over here. Okay, that works. So as you guys can see, it's pretty simple, my um, routine. I've been doing this for, I'd say, what, three weeks now? And I like to keep it simple. It makes things a lot easier when you're cutting down. Um, you don't have to track as much uh, to what you're doing. You know, you know, you'll be burning calories either way, and you'll be eating a caloric deficit. So meaning um, you'll eat, be eating less than your body actually needs. Now, where's this pot or pan or... Thank you. Anyways, I'm going to make some coffee too, probably. Black coffee is key because 
black coffee will make sure it's zero calories. Now I'll just use this guy. Can't find the smaller one. Okay. I don't even know. I feel like I'm shaking this camera a lot. Seems like Tigger wants to go outside. That's her name. Tigger. I I'll let you outside there. <coughs> Knocking on the door and everything. Look at this, look at this, watch. See? Already knows. It looks it looks my hand. See? Oh, it wants. See? She knows. It's really cold though. I don't know if she's gonna want to go outside. Oh, no question. Where are you headed? Okay, so now that the vegetables are almost done. We have here some salt-free chicken seasoning, and that is what we're going to be using to make this chicken taste not so plain. Now, I do not know where to set this camera, so cut to the next scene. Okay, yeah, I didn't know where to put my camera, so we're just going to do it this way. One hand on the camera, one hand on the spice. Well, I don't know who would put two hands on a spice. Okay. I want to come out. There we fucking go. A little too much, but ah, no salt. Pretty much no calories. Have fun. Boom. Perfect. Actually, it's quite a bit, but still, perfect. All right, so it's really smoking here now because I just cooked all my meat. So these are the meals for today. You got chicken breast with some vegetables for each one. Three meals. Got breakfast and I do eat snacks. I also got some chicken for my breakfast here. Now, that being said, I want to talk a little bit about my snacks. So for snacks, I would have either Caesar salad. Now this is with really small amounts of Caesar dressing. Um, the low caloric was here, let's see right here. I don't even know what I'm saying. Right here it says calorie, calorie wise. So that's about 30 calories per one uh, tablespoon. So it's not too bad. Um, obviously there are other ones that are higher calories, but that one is low calories, so it still tastes really good. Now, my second, um, snack that's a little bit healthier as well would be this peanut butter honey flavored, um, peanut butter. <laughs> and I use that with rice cakes, about one to two rice cakes, depending on how I feel. Uh, the most I would have in a day would be maybe three or four, but I would never really go to three or four. I would have maybe two at most because I put a lot of peanut butter, so, and it can be high in calories. I think that's like 80 calories or 40 calories, one of the two, for like tablespoon or something like that, but it's still a lot of calories. Another, another, uh, I can't even talk. Another one. These are, I don't know if you can see this, mixed berries. So this is blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. I would have a cup of that, because a cup of this is... 140 grams would be 80 calories, so that's really, really good when it comes to calories itself. Um, what other snacks would I have? I mean, that's about it. I mean, if I would have other snacks, like let's say junk food snacks, it would be like um, frozen yogurt or there's a little bit of ice cream in here. It's like a popsicle that's 80 calories, so I'd maybe have one or two for the day, like I did yesterday. I'm um, still losing weight, so I don't have to worry. But uh, that being said, you can work around things, guys. So let's say if I want to have a grape right now, I'm going to have one grape. For when I have a kiwi, I can have one kiwi. You just gotta work around it. So see what you're gonna be having later. If you're gonna be having another kiwi, another kiwi, another kiwi. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to start it on. But if you're gonna have something, don't like continuously just have junk or snacks throughout the day. You could if it's healthy. Um, if it's junk, don't waste your time. And I just thought I'd say that. So if I ever do look back at this video, I kind of forget, you know, uh, what I've been doing, what I was eating. Oh, where's this lighting? This terrible lighting. What I've been eating, let's go here. I think it's natural lighting. Perfect. Okay, so if I ever forget as to like what I was doing, what I was eating, or uh, what I did during this time for my cuts, you know, I could always look back at these videos and, you know, I could always just write it down, but I mean, there's so many papers, so many things that I do. So just looking back at these videos give me a good perspective as to how I'm doing when I'm cutting down, 
uh, should I be increasing my cardio? Should I be increasing my diet? Should I be working out more? Should I be hitting my abs more? And this video, um, just like many others, is good for me to look back because I always do look back at my other videos and I kind of compare, see where I was when I was seven weeks out, see where I was when I was five weeks out. So it definitely gives me a good perspective as to what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Anyways, <laughs> all that talk. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a short one, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too short, it wasn't too long, but I wanna show a little bit of my progress, a little bit of what I'm doing, all that great stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. Once again, please leave a, oh, I keep forgetting this part, yeah. Please leave a like below if you enjoyed it, obviously. I'm not gonna force you to do it. Please leave a comment below if you wanna say anything, have any questions, and get aesthetic bra.